You have to know your own darkness to see darkness. Ooh. And I think there's a lot of people out there who don't understand how evil the people in charge of the world actually are. Mm. And the reason I know that they're evil is because I know my own darkness and I've seen all of the darkness of humanity throughout the different echelons I've climbed up. I've seen the darkness of those rooms of people sitting there planning to rob his Rolex. I've seen the darkness of sitting in rooms where they're planning murders and the guy gets stabbed. I've seen darkness of people trying to kill me myself. I've seen the darkness of a government locking me up knowing I've done nothing wrong. I've seen endless darkness. And you realize that the people in charge of the world have very little interest in you. They don't give a shit about what happens to anybody. They want power and they want control and they don't do it for a financial gain. They do it for their ego. This is what's so interesting. We can tie back into what I was saying earlier, because you're asking me my motivations for doing things. If I were to say to you ego, you would say, nah, why the fuck do you think they locked everyone in their house? You think it was for money? They print the money. They don't need money. They print it. It was so they could laugh. It's so Nancy Pelosi could go get a haircut while you had to stay in your house. And it was on video and she showed everyone and they continued with the lockdown afterwards. Ha ha ha. It's so that you put a mask on to walk in the restaurant, take it off to eat and put it on to go for a piss. It's so they can laugh at you. It's for their ego. And the reason I know it's for their ego, because I know why I do what I do, which is the same reason why Genghis Khan conquered fucking Vienna. Because any kind of person who gains that type of power is ego driven. So why did they enslave humanity? Because it was funny. And how do you stop them from enslaving humanity? Well, I can't do it by myself. Rambo doesn't exist. What did I say earlier? Teamwork, brotherhood. If enough men stand up and say, no, they have a problem. If one man does, no matter how powerful he is, even if he's the top G, it doesn't work. And I can tell you that because my brother and I were trying and nobody fucking listened. But if we had more people, they would have. That's the reality. So I think the impact I'm going to have on the world is a good one. Because if you have men who are brave and who are not afraid, you have to, the only way you can convince them to do things is to show them that it is positive. It's a good thing for them or a good thing for those they care about or a good thing for their nation or a good thing for their religion or a good thing for their race or a good thing for their creed. You can't scare, you can't force their compliance with fear, which is what they did with COVID. They didn't say, stay in your house for the good of the world. Well, they did, but they did it via fear. Be afraid. You're, someone's going to die and for the good, you need to stay in. The old people will die. They used fear. But if you can't use fear to make men comply because they're not afraid, then you have to use other reasons and you have to be far more honest because fear is easy to invent. Fear is an emotion you can invent. They can say there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex outside. They can say Russia's about to nuke Bucharest. They can say there's a disease you can't see. They can say there's a terrorist downstairs right now in the lobby, stay in your room. Fear you can just make up. You haven't got to see anything. You got to see it. They can just call and say there's a, there's a terrorist, stay in your room. We'll all stay in our room. Fear they invent. 